My name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California. Let's talk about how to determine how many moles there are in one liter of water. When a chemist talks about a mole, he's saying this is a certain number of molecules or atoms. And that number is... I would have to continue and write another 20 zeros behind these four digits. But instead I'm going to use scientific notation. So I put a decimal point, a decimal point behind the zero times 10 to the 23. This is the number of atoms or molecules in a mole. Uh, it's defined by taking 12 grams of carbon and the number of carbon atoms uh, in that 12 grams. And of course it's a special type of carbon. It's a carbon called carbon-12 that has exactly six protons and six neutrons in the nucleus. There's other forms of carbon like carbon-13, carbon-14 but it's defined as 12 grams of carbon-12. That's, that's the number. Now, the next thing I have to define is a liter. A liter is a volume of a material that has uh, dimensions 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters. It's a cube. And it's, it's equal to exactly one liter of water is one kilogram or 1,000 grams. I'm changing to grams because we'll see the gram weight of a mole. The next thing I need to know is the chemical formula for water, H2O. This means if I have a mole of water, I will have a mole of oxygen and two moles of hydrogen. So let's Look up, what is, if I have a mole of oxygen, what is its weight or mass in grams? Well, carbon-12 had 12 grams. Oxygen, a mole of oxygen would have 16 grams. Hydrogen has the atomic weight of one. That means we would have, since we have two of them, um, two moles of hydrogen would have two grams of mass. So the, the total of a mole of water, one mole of water is 18 grams. So I decided to clean up the whiteboard and actually write out the number of molecules in a mole with all the 20 zeros. So now let's do the math. We have 1,000 grams of water and 18 grams per mole. The answer is 55.6 moles of water in one liter. Thank you.